Okay, I admit it, this what's up comes from me, but I also feel like quite a few out there are gonna have wondered this exact same thing. How much rust or concrete cracks can a bridge take before it's no longer safe? Like, let's say you're driving around, oh, I don't know, the Sherman Mitten. Let's be honest, there's quite a bit of rust, quite a few concrete cracks. So what is the breaking point here? It's a natural question to ask, but it may also be the wrong question. See, I met up with Natalie House Lewis. She's a bridge engineer with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. And one of her main duties is to travel throughout our area and keep an eye on our bridges to make sure that they stay safe. The idea is we want to keep these pretty and strong and in service just as much as everybody else, because we live here too. Everything we do, we're going to take a photo. Everything is documented. We're looking at our transition guardrail, making sure the spacing is correct. So you'll notice in this foot, we have a little crack. We want to make sure our armored edge is in good condition. You have this salt deposit where we salt our roads in the winter. So we want to make note of this. We want to sound the deck. And we have that nice ping. We like the ping. Once we hear something dud, that means it's bad. You can see this crack going through the graffiti. Natalie and her team have a full-time job on their hands. They have more than 1,400 structures in our area alone to keep tabs on. According to their findings, 15% of those are in good condition, 76% are in fair condition, and 9% are in poor condition and need repairs. But they may not be the ones that you think. See, the gist here is, Natalie says we should be trusting the engineer's eyes and not our eyes, because things like rust and cracks in the concrete may not necessarily say that the bridge itself is not safe. Concrete is gonna crack and steel is gonna rust, and believe it or not, there is a specific type of steel, it's called weathering steel, where that rust is a protective layer. So it's designed to do that. It comes down to what type of bridge is it, how is it designed, how much traffic is going on it, has it flooded, all those things come into play, and it's not just a black or white situation. Now, if you're curious how the bridges you take every day are faring, every bridge inspection the KYTC does is public on their website. They even have this little interactive map where you can follow your drive and click on bridges as you come upon them. KYTC tells us, though, that condition reports should not be confused with safety overall. So, for example, a bridge can be rated poor, It'll be put to the top of the list as they make repairs, but they assure us that they close bridges if they think there's any risk of safety driving across them. Thanks for checking out What's Up. If you want to see more videos like this one, click on the links over here, or if you have an idea for me, send it to me at the links down here.